Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Here's my perfect Apple ecosystem. So starting off with the centerpiece of my ecosystem is the iPhone 14 Pro. I love the design and the aesthetic. It's been really great using it almost for a year now. And I just love the 48 megapixel camera for photos. Shooting 4K video on this is amazing as well. I really like iOS and I use a lot of Apple stock apps for productivity and staying organized. Apps like calendars, reminders, and even mail, very useful and integrated very well throughout different devices in my ecosystem. So that's a huge bonus. I also love features like AirDrop, Find My, iCloud, iMessage, and FaceTime. I don't wanna to switch to any other smartphone and I don't wanna leave those features behind. Now the battery on the 14 Pro hasn't been great, don't get me wrong, but to charge it up every night, I use the MagSafe charger. It's actually connected to the GroveMade charging stand, which just looks really beautiful on my side table. And if I know that I'm gonna be out a long day and not buy a charger, I use the MagSafe battery pack. For other accessories for my iPhone, I use the Apple Wallet. It's great to use in case you lose it with Find My. And I really like Apple cases. It really doesn't matter which one. In particular though, I've been using the Sky Silicone case quite a bit. Moving on to the watch, I am using the Apple Watch Ultra. And it's been my favorite product that Apple's made since the original AirPods came out. I love the 49 millimeter display. And although it's big, it doesn't feel heavy because of the titanium and the titanium material is super strong so if I ever knock it on something it doesn't feel like it's ever going to break and now with watch os 10 it's even better and honestly it's apple's biggest update yet coming this fall if you're curious i do have two preferred bands that i like to use although i like all of the ones that apple makes just for work and casual stuff i like to use the leather link and for working out, playing soccer, I use the Ocean Midnight Band. Along with the iPhone and Apple Watch, there's another product that never really leaves my side, and that's the AirPods Pro 2. The sound quality on these is amazing, as well as noise cancellation, which is just phenomenal to use. And if you've never used a noise canceling headphone, these would be the ones to get. And they're great for any type of content you consume. For example, for music, I love Apple Music, and for podcasts, I use Apple Podcasts. Now, let's talk about the iPad Air with M1. This is my go-to device for creativity and productivity. For example, I use Procreate to create my wallpaper packs. I also love to use this to write my scripts for videos, and I use it actually quite a bit to edit my videos right now. And it's just great to have the Magic Keyboard and Apple Pencil. I really feel like it elevates the use of the device. The M1 chip is more than enough. And after a year of using it, the performance has been perfect and hasn't gone down at all. I also think it's a reasonable price and you get more out of it than you would the Mini. And when you get to the Pro level, I feel like it might even be better to get a MacBook over the iPad Pro. That's just my opinion. So this price point is just perfect. I currently have it in blue and that's my only regret. I wish I would have got something a little bit more with my aesthetic with like a black color. Also for my content creation, when editing videos, I like to use my AirPods Max. I do want to mention the iPhone 13 Pro that I currently still do have. I didn't trade it in because I needed a camera to kind of make my videos better. I was using an iPhone 11 before and the quality of this camera is just great to record in 4K. It's also really, really good for taking pictures. I use this basically for my YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all of it. For my home office workspace setup, I'm currently using a Mac Mini and Studio Display, which is just a stunning combo. And with the Mac Mini, it's the M2 version, so I just got it. The M2 chip offers incredible flexibility and performance. This is the first time in my life not owning a MacBook, and I really wanted a dedicated space that I could devote to work. And if I need to go somewhere else to work on something, I can always use the iPad Air. The studio display is a 27-inch 5K beast. It's absolutely stunning. Like, this is the best looking monitor that I've ever used. Like by far, it just makes you want to get on the computer and knock out 
your to-do list or content creation or whatever you're doing. My wife actually also uses this for her job and it's been really helpful to her. The quality, the design, the aesthetic is just amazing and I'm so glad I got it. It doesn't seem like Apple would update this every three or four years. It might be on like a five year cycle. So I'm really excited to use this for the many years to come. For my home center, I am using the Apple TV 4K. It keeps all your shows and different apps in a really nice layout and format. And I just really like that. I'm actually someone who buys a lot of their movies. So all of my library started in iTunes. I'm using Apple TV Plus quite a bit because I'm on the Apple One plan. And the shows that they make are amazing. I just finished Silo and it's a great show. If you haven't checked it out, I would definitely watch it. And because I watch so much content, it made sense to get a really nice pair of speakers and i decided to get the home pod version 2 if you want to call it that or just the new home pod and i got two actually so i have a paired speaker kind of thing going on and the sound quality while it gets super loud it doesn't get staticky it doesn't get you know break up or anything like that it's just perfect for a home audio experience and i use the original home pod in my bedroom now to listen to music it's on my nightstand. So that wraps up our journey through my perfect Apple ecosystem. Let me know in the comments what's your current ecosystem. But if you like this kind of video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And likes matter on YouTube, so give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching everyone. God bless, and I will see you on the next video.